Hi, I'm John Husenstam. I'm here in New York, and I'm going to give you an introductory lesson on electric blues guitar. And most people, when they first uh, start learning the electric guitar, they're taught what's called a pentatonic scale. It sounds like this. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with that. But what we need to do right away, the minute we start learning that, is add the ornaments. You know, the hammer-ons, the pull-offs. Uh, note bending, and the most important one is vibrato. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to make something that's very simple sound good. So check this out. I'll play some of the notes. Well, that's really simple, right? I'm just taking a few of the notes from the pentatonic scale and I'm doing a little variation. I'll do it one more time. Watch what happens when you add vibrato. You know, suddenly it sounds a lot more like, you know, the real thing, the music that you're looking for. And really the music of the blues is something that's really simple, but it's the delivery that makes it, you know, have the uh, magic that it has. So you can take a simple scale and then add the vibrato. suddenly you got the uh, the sound of the blues and then we had hammer-ons watch as I follow up the hammer-on with uh, vibrato a pull-off followed with vibrato you know hammer-ons pull-offs and the way that you get that uh, vibrato the way you achieve that you can either wobble your arm like this or rotate your wrists like that, like B.B. King and Hendrix, they used to do this, uh, you know, rotational vibrato. They call it a butterfly vibrato. Or like Eric Clapton, he has an, what I call an arm vibrato. So those are some of the key points in the electric blues guitar. Another thing that's uh, important to, you know, mention here in this introductory lesson are the chords that get used when we're playing, you know, those kind of lead things, you know, over background music. And generally it's what we have uh, in music called seventh chords or dominant chords. And they have this sort of sound. The reason why that's significant is because a seventh chord allows you to play either a minor or a major sound over it. So let's say a, a guitar player or a piano player has got that A7 chord going in the background. And you're the lead guitar player that's going to take a solo. You can either use the minor sound, which I call the bluesy or nighttime sound. Or you can use a major sound that sounds like this. Hear that's major sounding. minor sound to a major sound. So it's combining those two aspects of uh, electric uh, blues guitar that really give uh, you know meaning to the whole style of uh, like Chicago blues, Freddie King, BB King, Albert King, those guys uh, you know you know, bounce back and forth between those two sounds to get their, uh, you know, end result. So, uh, the only other uh, thing I could uh, suggest to you in this first lesson is to uh, listen to the masters of the blues, like those guys I mentioned. There's B.B. King, Albert King, Freddie King, and, and some of the other guys, Mike Bloomfield, Eric Clapton, uh, Albert Collins, currently Buddy Guy is very uh, famous for what he does. And uh, once you get, uh, you know, used to hearing those sounds, then you can start trying to recreate it with uh, what I've been talking about here in this lesson. So if you want more of this information, I'm on LessonFace.com for an online live lesson. See you later.